internet, Donna here. I wanted to make a video today because I have received my bite blocks from Jamie at Joe's Venture Lab. So let's go ahead and first things first, try these bad boys in. I will say I have a, a bowl of super hot water sitting here in case anything needs to be reshaped. I have cut some off the front of the lower because it was getting the blue, blue, blue look like this. Um, I don't have extra wax to build it up, but this one, I'll tell you, is a little bit short. If you look, you can see where my implants come up through. Can you see? Can we get some focus? No? That's okay. There are indent marks where my implants come up through, and that's okay. So I'm going to take out my dentures. This is the upper. See, Jamie has cut some off the back for me because he knows my gag reflex is horrifying. And that actually fits really well. Um, I'm not... I'm not mad at that. So let's put the bottom one in. And I have to kind of hold it down because my implants. But if you look, it's too short. See, there's a gap. So if I bite, if I bite all the way down, then my lower jaw sticks out, and that means I'm biting too far. See, look at that. So what I'm going to do, I've gotten some ProSoft. You can use um, Reline It from Walmart. It's much cheaper. I just wanted to use the ProSoft because I know that quite a bit comes in the package. And I know I will have enough to finish this project. But we're going to use the ProSoft or your Reline It as bite registration material. So I'm going to take this out of the package, let me aim this down so you can see what I'm working with here. There's enough in here for two applications. Like I said, I wanted to make sure that I had enough. We're going to use one for now, so we'll get the extra stuff out of the way over here. There is powder, there is activator. And there is a little stirred up thingy, popsicle stick. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. And according to the directions, we just dump this whole vial in there, which is what we're going to do. And we're going to mix that up until it is slightly thicker than honey. So. Just go ahead and slowly stir that up here so that we don't get it everywhere. And right now it's very, very runny. So I'm just going to keep mixing it, make sure to get everything off the bottom. And I'm going to mix it up until it starts to get thick. Because once it starts to set, that is perfect for using it. So I'm going to let that sit for a second, and I'm just going to show you with my bite blocks here. Whenever they go into my mouth, they're going to be like this, because the lower one is just a little too short. And I'm going to let the ProSoft flow through that gap and flow through the key holes here. See the keys? here and here and same on the other side and that's going to act like glue to not only stick them together but to give Jamie an idea of what my vertical dimensions look like. Now if this had been too tall I could have shaved some off the top of it. Since it was too far forward I did cut some off the front right here 
and it's still a little oh my Microsoft starting to set up it's still a little too much for me and I'm getting a phone call Yeah, I'm going to edit out you saying that, too. Okay, so we've got a consistency here. It's about like honey. I'm going to give it another minute. I still want it to be flowy, but I don't want it to be so runny that it gets all over uh, the inside of my mouth. Because this is going to be like glue. So I'm going to go ahead and put my upper in, which I just cannot with how happy I am with how that sits. I'm going to put my lower into the super hot water over here and bend it around my gums a little bit better in the front to sit after that warms up. Get my popsicle stick here. This is starting to get sticky. That's about the consistency that we want. You see that? That's about the consistency that we want. So I am going to get my lower. Put that inside of my face. Okay, and we're just going to take the Pro Soft and let it flow all the way around. See if this works. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you want to get that all out of your mouth all at the same time. Put my teeth back in. Okay, so if we look here, what we have is a bound together, and you can see the gap got filled in. My keys got filled in. Okay, here and here, you can see inside, my keys got filled in. And this gives Jamie his measurement where to set the articulator for when he adds wax to this lower and sets the teeth. So this is my bite registration. The lower and the upper. This is all done. So I'm going to go rinse this off. Okay, I've just washed this off and made sure that it was nice and clean. I'm going to put this in a plastic bag to give it a little cushioning while it's in the, 
the denture tray that I'm getting ready to send it back in. There's Jamie's denture tray. I'll go ahead and put this in here just like that. Close it up. And voila, I'm ready to send it back. So questions, comments, leave them down below. I hope that this was short and sweet. This was really short and simple. I only needed to use one application on my ProSoft, so that was good. Um, if you are using the Walmart Reline It, you will likely have to use two packets because they're not as generous with their Reline as ProSoft is. I got a little bit of that on my lip. It tastes like awful chemicals, but that's okay because I'm getting ready to go brush out the inside of my mouth and get rid of that chemical taste. So yeah, questions, comments, leave them below. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, be good to each other and keep smiling. Thanks. Bye.